Finding your why. Let's welcome up Mr. Robert Horner. Greetings, fellow Christian Toastmasters. My name is Libby Joyner with LastDayDisciples.com. LastDayDisciples.com, we're making disciples, we're making money. I introduced myself like that because I came here to learn how to be a public speaker. And in the last six months since I've been a part of Carolina Christian Toastmasters, I've found more confidence in speaking in front of people and walking in the gift that God's given me. I find myself in life right now fulfilling a destiny, actually fulfilling a prophecy that God gave me in 1995. Habuku 2 says, write the plan and make it plain so those that read it can run with it. it that's verse 3 says, the plan is for an important time. When growing up, I guess I heard the part of writing the plan to make it plain, but I didn't really understand the part about it has a point in time. Yesterday, I did a blog on lastdaydisciples.com dealing with goal setting. What is your goal? Basically, what do you want to do to be successful in life? You have to have a goal to fulfill a goal. Uh, an unwritten plan is basically a wish. And a goal without a deadline is just a daydream. We have to be specific <coughs> about what we want and be specific in knowing what God has given us to do. When we know what we want to do, we have to decide on how we're going to bring this about. So many people say, I can't do that. I can't do that. But successful people say, how can I do this? How can I bring this about? When we have a goal, we first decide on what we want to do, and then we devise how we're going to do it. Again, a goal without a deadline is just a daydream. You have to have a goal, a deadline for the goal to come to fruition. Long-term goals versus short-term goals. Where do I want to be in five years? Where do I want to be in three years? Where do I want to be in one year? Where do I want to be in six months? Where do I want to be in next month? Where do I want to be next week? Where do I want to be tomorrow? What do I have to do today? <laughs> what do I have to do in the next five minutes? What do I have to do in the next hour? Planning out your day and planning out your goals and checking off your goals and going from one goal to another. One thing I use that has been successful is what I call plan, do, review. I have a plan, I do the plan, and after those, those set God marks in the plan, I review it and find out where I'm at. And then I replan and I do the plan again. I find myself in a review stage right now in my life. The plan that I'm working on right now with Last Day Disciples, actually God gave it to me in 1995. And I thought that to have an online ministry and to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ and bring together business people to do kingdom business through excellence and making Jesus Christ clear and visible in the earth realm, I had to create the technology to do this. So as a senior in computer science at North Carolina State, trying to be like Bill Gates, I dropped out of school to create a website, be the Facebook of today. The difference was, it wasn't a time for the plan. One thing I found in trying to put together the plan in my plan do review is that God gave me this plan and even after giving glory to God in the plan, I decided that I could do the plan without him. And even today, as, as the walk that I've had going in the kingdom, out of the kingdom, straddling the fence, all the way in, all the way out. I'm serving the Lord. Lord, you're taking too long. Where's my wife? I need to go out and find her. And I'm trying to do it my way. This wonderful plan that God gave me, but it was his plan. It was for his purpose. And the purpose of this speech today 
is finding your why. If you're going to have a plan, find out what you're going to do, how you're going to do it, and when you're going to bring it together, what's really going to bring the plan together is why. Why are you doing this? And the plan that I had, I look at the plan I had in 1999. It was to get down to 180 pounds. I was going to graduate from college. I was going to be, in, be on Big Brother, and I was going to witness mm -hmm. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I graduated from North Carolina A&T <laughs> December of this year, magna cum laude, and economics with a certificate in entrepreneurship, Six Sigma Greenbelt certification, all in the same month. Just to prove that if I could surrender myself to God, he can use me. Now, in all of that, that I say this, that thinking that my plan to lose weight, my plan to be successful, my plan to, to be a leader was to be a husband, to be a, uh, to be a father, and I wanted the things that I wanted for myself. But now, as I see all of the technology that I thought I had to drop out of, out of college to, uh, to create, <coughs> it has been created, and I'm using it now to implement my business at lastdaydisciples.com and also blogdaily.org, where you can create your own blog, create your own video, and put it up instantaneously, just like a Facebook post. And again, when I find <coughs> myself and bringing my plan together, I find right now everything that I'm doing, everything I tried to do in 1997, it's the, even though I've changed the name of some of the domains, it's the same plan. It's the same purpose. It's not to make money. It's to it's create wealth for the kingdom so that, so that Jesus Christ can maybe appear invisible in, in the marketplace. There's so many people out there who are in, in business just about money, and, and they're not being scrupulous. Believers of Jesus Christ should not be one of those. And that's the purpose of Last Day Disciples, is to show that believers of Jesus Christ can be Clear and visible in the earth realm. And thank you for my time. What's up?